In this video, we'll be looking at the comparisons between alkanes and alkenes. Let's get right to it. First, let's look at the similarities. Both alkanes are alkenes are hydrocarbons. This means that they are only made of hydrogen and carbon atoms and no other elements are involved. And number two, both alkanes and alkenes are able to undergo combustion to produce only carbon dioxide and water where there is excess oxygen, complete combustion. And the differences, now to the differences, the types of hydrocarbon. Alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon. This is because there is no more room for any atom to form a new bond unless the existing bonds are broken. Whereas alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons because of the presence of the next point, that is the type of bonding. And so alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons because of the presence of the CC double bond at least one double bond between two carbon atoms. Whereas the bonding between carbon atoms for alkanes, they are all single bonds. They can only have single bonds. And the percentage carbon by mass, we will go through the calculation in a while. The percentage carbon by mass of alkane is actually relatively lower than alkenes. Alkenes have a higher percentage carbon by mass. This means if we take the mass of carbon in the whole molecule, in a single molecule, alkenes have more carbon by mass in the whole molecule compared to alkanes. And then we go to sootiness of flame. Sootiness is how much soot is produced. Soot is the carbon in the smoke, the black in the smoke. And so alkenes, this point is actually related to the percentage of carbons. Because alkenes have a higher percentage of carbon by mass and soot is essentially carbon, what happens is the sootiness of alkenes is actually higher than alkanes because alkanes actually have a lower percentage of carbon by mass. We can conduct three simple tests to differentiate between alkanes and alkenes. One is of course using the sootiness of the flame and how we test the sootiness of the flame is you just burn hexane and hexane, place a filter paper on top and then the smoke will go to the filter paper and the filter paper will start to become black. And so the one that is more black means that the flame was more sooty. And then there are another two experiments that we can conduct, simple ones. That is, we can use bromine water and we can use potassium manganate 7 solution. The principle for both are the same. And that is, alkenes, because of their CC double bond, they are able to undergo addition reactions. And so alkenes will undergo the addition of halogens, which is bromine. And after bromine reacts, bromine is a brown color solution. And when the bromine water has reacted, the bromine in the bromine water has reacted, that will turn colorless. And so there is a visual change that we can see. Whereas alkenes do not undergo addition reaction. They can undergo substitution with halogens. However, that reaction must occur in the presence of UV light. And there's no UV light here. And then for potassium manganate 7 solution, same story. Because of the CC double bond, alkenes are able to undergo oxidation using potassium manganate 7 solution. It is also a type of addition reaction. Whereas alkenes do not react with potassium manganate 7 solution. And so sootiness of the flame we've already established. Now, change in color of bromine water for hexane, which represents the alkane here, 6-carbon alkane, there is no change. The bromine water remains brown in color, whereas for hexene, it decolorizes the bromine water. And for potassium manganate 7 solution, once again, no change with alkanes, but with hexene, it decolorizes the potassium manganate 7 solution, indicating that reactions have occurred with these two chemicals. That's it for this video guys, I hope you've liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Thank you very much, really appreciate it, helps a lot. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.